Thank you for viewing another session of Blitz 101. Uh, right, what we're going to do today is I'm going to go through the process of making the mold. Uh, what you have to do is you have to purchase any bo style body that you choose to use. Um, I just happen to be choosing the Blitz. Uh, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to get two bags of uh, plaster of Paris. I've already done this, so saved you the pain and anguish of watching me mix uh, plaster. So two bags. It's a uh, it's two parts to the powder to one part water and uh, you have your choice of mixing paddles uh, I used uh, a paint one and one for drywall a cordless drill and a power drill just in case if the cordless ran out all you do is just pour it in keep it you want to keep it more of in a liquid state uh, you really don't want it too too much slag in it when you're uh, you don't want it too thick is what I should say you want it so it fills in all the crevices and so when the mold pops out it'll wind up popping right out for you and you'll have no issues of any air bubbles so uh, needless to say um, I will uh, finish this up later it's gonna have to dry before I can continue on any further but this is the second attempt one that I did and you can see there's a lot of air bubbles in it and that it's just it's no good you can't have that because when, when it transforms onto the plastic the plastic uh, or the polycarbonate when you uh, uh, draw it down with the suction it winds up picking up every flaw so when you do decide to get to that point make sure uh, it's nice and smooth and the consistency is really really milky uh, almost like a thick chocolate milk uh, but you can see she's starting to dry right now and I screed it off the top that's what I use that board for if you want to keep it as level as possible so when you're setting the mold on top of your uh, vacuum former which uh, now I have over here on the chair so I can get more leverage and pushing down on it I just took the seat off of it and just ran the hose down through the bottom and I'll, I'll uh, attach it to the vacuum when I get done and that's pretty much about it there's the first uh, the very first attempt but that was with uh, another mold that I made which is out there so take it from me make it thin it'll take a little longer to dry but you'll be better off in the long run with a better mold all right see you on the next round